Hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Omnicraft survival server. This is episode number 3. As I've mentioned in the previous episode, we are starting with a huge project in today's episode. But before we start with anything, I would like to show you around my base to see, so you can see what I've built so far. Because not all the details have managed to get inside the episodes, I had to cut some of that thing out just to fit the episode to last not longer than 20 or so minutes. As you can see, the green detail is following us all the way around, especially this lovely grass. I don't know why people hate it, but I just quite love it. And also, I've built this room here, and I was thinking of decorating all these balls in this green color as well, just to fit in with all these leaves and these glass panes, because you can see I've already done that. Um, this path will be going uh, with the... Um, I have came a fish farm that I'm going to build in the future, so um, I was thinking of placing it somewhere here around, but no, behind me is going to be a pretty lovely place for it. So let's hop on to do something else. First of all, maybe I should cover all these holes that were left by creepers. They were chasing me around everywhere, leaving these ugly patches, and there I should maybe dig a tunnel and connect all this water on the other side, and this lake as well, and that lake over there. And everything look, should look pretty um, decent enough for good times fishing. Yeah, be right back. This is the progress update. As you can see, I've dug out a pretty decent small hole. And now it's bigger. I mean, like, this hole is going to work just fine, I guess. Um, I don't know about the shape, maybe I should decorate it later, something put on the other side, uh, remove this hill here, it's annoying, and, uh, hmm, what should I do with a, with a tunnel here, I don't know, maybe like, use a boat to approach from this side or something like that, you know, if it's useful, then to me it looks pretty, like 100%, but if, does, if it doesn't have a purpose, then I just have a difficult time of seeing the beauty in in my own creations, I guess. I don't know. I'll dig out and see what happens. So this is the plan. I'm going to connect this water through here, going beneath, and uh, it's going to come out here, and as you can see, there's a beautiful terrain uh, waiting for me on the other side. But it's going to be uh, a, a tough time digging it. Yeah, so this is the work so far. I'm pretty pleased, uh, it looks flat, it needs decorating, I know, but first of all, I have to connect this water to the other side, and then I'm gonna build arches and decorations and skulls and skeletons hanging and stuff like that. This is like a sudden side project, <laughs> this guy's been chasing me for quite some time now, and I plan on capturing him uh, pro style, so I hope that I'm going to capture him uh, in a in a slightly uh, painless way, not to uh, step on my words <laughs> by saying that I'm going to be a pro in uh, holding this guy contained here. So just to put a block behind him. Oh yeah, it's working. Now to get uh, grab a potion and golden apple to transfer him, we'll see. Alright, and uh, I remember I should maybe use rails and uh, minecart, you know, uh, by placing it like this. And maybe removing this block because he's going to suffocate. <laughs> Alright, um, let's throw this at him, potion of weakness. Um, effect has hit myself as well. Not bad, I was expecting something much better. Like a farmer, <laughs> that could be good. Um, I hope that the next guy uh, I transform is going to be a farmer because I really need farmer for for uh, villager breeding. And this thing just won't work. Why don't you place yourself properly? No, it's just refusing. It's like, ah, it's stubborn. It's more stubborn than me. So let's just push this guy inside. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Alright, let's shift click. Let's nudge him a bit. Am I going to be able to do this corner thing? Oh yeah, everything's going smoothly. 
And now he's gonna get stuck, of course he's gonna get stuck on the rails. Okay, remove that, and the guy is ready. Bye guys, see you later. I'm just gonna sh close this hole to prevent zombies from getting to you. Lately, I have a lot of visitors. This zombie is not the first one. Ooh, achievement. Okay, so just to show you what I had in mind and what I'm building right now, this is kind of an archway, and I've placed it... Oh, okay, just let me craft this first, not to speak without showing you the picture. If I remember how to craft a fence, I guess it's something... Okay, scored from the first try. Okay, I'm not a total noob. So, I want to have a feeling that uh, this arch is holding this dirt from falling on top of the passengers coming through. So, um, I was thinking of adding these fences here, uh, just to give it a shape and more of a feel that something is actually holding this dirt. As you can see on the side, there's a lot of it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, maybe put some details inside, but I won't be changing too much because I don't see the point in it. Also, what I was thinking was placing slabs on top of this uh, arch just to give it uh, um, one more layer so that it doesn't look like the whole block of grass is uh, being held because um, transferring that in real life wouldn't be actually possible so I'm just gonna follow that logic to a certain point you know obviously this is a game there is <laughs> there is no real life logic in here but you know you have to follow something just to have that feel that this is uh, an actual build and something's missing here uh, not the fence but I'm gonna try with the stairs I think that two sets will be enough. Uh, maybe I should put them uh, facing one another, like that. Fill out some holes, maybe. Uh, well, maybe I should just leave it like that, I guess. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city where every night it rains. I should start doing clips like that, <laughs> I think that this game is either trolling me or something because every single night a rain falls, Al almost every single night. So what I wanted to show you is what this tunnel looks like at this point and just to show you this environment on the other side, uh, I didn't show you the reason why I actually built this thing. So, these are the details. So far, I should be uh, chucking in some leaves, maybe vines or something like that, um, just to add it more shape to it. And what am I doing with this bow? I have no idea what am I doing with it. <clears throat> but, I was thinking, what is the actual distance to get the achievement of a sniper duel? You know the duel that you have to win against the skeleton, you have to kill him from a long distance, right? But I was always too lazy to explore what is the exact distance and how to actually calculate the distance from which you have to shoot your arrow across the bloody map on the old way on the other side. Uh, the skeleton is probably not invisible if you don't increase the render distance, so it's qu actually quite a challenge to do that. Now that I think of it, this achievement makes sense. Well, anyway, it would be nice uh, to know the distance without having to go to Wikipedia all the time for all this information. Yeah, decoration in the future of this tunnel, and I'm just gonna move away from it uh, at this point and go do something else, because if I remember correctly, I found a spawner, skeleton spawner, and I should go and decorate that. Um, make it uh, functional, chuck in some water and stuff like that. So, see you in a bit. But before I go there, I should start building this thing, uh, AFK Fishing Farm. Uh, I've never built one before, I only saw other YouTubers using it. I kind of scanned what they were doing. Um, 
and I'm gonna try and do a replica of it, uh, change some details so it's not like copy paste, because that wouldn't be really, really fair, right? So placing a chest here in the middle, that's gonna mark where uh, I'm going to throw my hook. Um, what am I going to use here? Maybe smooth? I guess? I think this should fit the build that we have on the other side. Uh, hopper behind, so it's connected to the chest. There's going to be a water on top of it. Um, walls going up. Iron doors behind. I think this is going to be great. A little progress update. It is time to place a node block behind these iron doors. This is going to be a block that I'm going to be hitting with my fishing rod hook, whatever. So in this patch here, I'm going to place a bucket of water. Um, I think this is a proper distance for a uh, tripwire hooks, I guess. So I should be placing slabs on top of this because slabs will stop the noise. But I was actually thinking, um, creating like another water patch on top of the node block because uh, the water stops block from producing that annoying sound every time you hit it. So I'm going to create a waterfall coming from the top of this hill and kind of merging it with the nature, with everything that's going on around so it looks like a part of and not just another build. Um, I think this should be going up by one, and these pillars are going to have tripwire hooks on them, like that, and on the other side as well, and string in between. So I think that this thing should be working now. If I throw a fishing hook inside of this thing, it should touch the string, the doors should be opened. Okay, now just to connect the tripwire hook with the iron door, be using um, redstone, and I think this is the pillar. And yeah, I see that I forgot the repeater. Be right back. Now that I have a repeater on me, I should be placing him here, and this will give me a longer delay than just having a, a, a flat a line of redstone. So. This is like a um, counter effect uh, towards server lags. So if you are planning on doing this on the server, I suggest you do this with a repeater uh, because it's going to work. Right, so a short time lapse on fishing so let's see well this thing was working all the time yeah we have a catch and this thing is actually working just one look at this screen and you can guess that I'm gonna be using TNT to clear a massive space outside of my build because I've already wasted a few shovels and uh, it's become pretty annoying to craft the new ones all the time I don't have enough experience to craft a proper diamond shovel, so I'm just gonna hop real quick out there and place the TNT around, blow this thing up and clear whatever thing is left for me to clear. Now that this thing is done, it took me rather short amount of time and it's looking pretty nice and it connects to this side with the cave. Um, it's connecting with this build as well, so I'm pretty satisfied with the result that I've made so far. Um, maybe I should clear this guy out um, by using my bow and my skills, and yeah, it's working. Now let's hop on to building a um, skeleton mob farm. So this is the thing that I'm going to be working in. Uh, I'm going to clear out a massive space, not really massive, I'm just going to push it a few blocks uh, in each side. Um, and then I'm going to dig a hole straight down, 
probably around 20 or so blocks. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check it out to see what is the proper drop level. And hopefully, I won't mess up any measurements because I don't want the skeletons to be spawning outside of this build. I think this side is okay. This side is okay. Now that the water is in place, I've placed some blocks on top of this spawner, so no skeletons will be spawning up there. And I'm going to dig this hole, and they're going to be pushed here, they're going to drop down, and I'm going to be able to harvest. So I've decided to skip all the boring parts of me building this thing, because it's quite simple as you can see. And um, it's working as you can see, a lot of items are already inside. Uh, I'm just waiting for a new guys to drop. Ah, there we go. So you can see that this thing is working. I think I've built everything correctly. Um, I had to reduce the level uh, that this uh, room is at. The problem was that I was too far away from the uh, mob spawner, so it didn't, it didn't activate properly. So I had to uh, move it a few blocks up. So I'm just going to decorate this thing here, place door so uh, other mobs can't get uh, to th this other side. And I'm going to extend these stairs all the way to the surface. I've been ignoring this room for far too long. I'm going to be placing pillars like that here and on the other side, connecting all these hoppers to all these chests and hopefully it will work. Before doing anything in the... In the room there, I'm going to extend the pathway going from this block that I'm standing on all the way to the mob farm. It's probably around 200 or so blocks, so I'm going to be digging out. It's quite some time later. This is the progress I've made so far. And as you can see, it's a long tunnel, but it connects directly to the place where the farm is, so it's easily approachable by a uh, minecart and I'm going to be placing a lot of rails for the, this minecart and build a system for loading and dispatching. This chest room has deserved all my attention at this moment and I've tried out the redstone here and it's not working for some reason. I have to check it out. Uh, I have to do some testing. I'm not actually good with the redstone so, just to clear out my head, I'm going to be placing a lot of decoration in this room, just to take a step back, uh, to do something that I think I'm actually good at. So, I'm going to start off with placing upside down stairs, just underneath those chests, uh, to enable myself placing the source of light in this room, just underneath those stairs. And I think this thing is working now. I'm just going to chuck in some items in here and see if they go through. As you can see, mobs are spawning everywhere inside of this huge hallway. So I should probably, at some point, take care of all these torches and lighting. Um, walls, as I've mentioned before, should go green. Just to fit in with all the leaves and uh, glass panes that I've placed in the same color. So when I'm finished with placing all this, uh, I'm going to step back, um, take a look at it and decide if it's a keeper or maybe I should change something. Hopefully, I didn't waste too much time on placing something that I have to remove. And the thing is, I actually like it. These pillars are matching with the wall. I like the, the, the difference in color. And I, as you can see, I've placed the same thing everywhere. This room is finished following the same pattern. Um, as you can see, the lighting is uh, placed down, redstone is connected, everything is working. And I'm really, really happy that this thing is finally running smooth. And on this side, I want to show you these guys are ready for the uh, villagers spawn. Um, I don't know what build I'm going to be using, but uh, hopefully I'm going to be finding some kind of inspiration and I don't know what to do with the ceiling. Guys, uh, this is it for today's episode. 
I've done a lot of work, I've covered a lot of side projects and main projects. If you like this episode, uh, press that like button. Uh, if you would like to see more of my episodes, subscribe. And also, it's always a good thing to leave a comment. Bye-bye. Thank you.